Welcome to the Mindset by Design podcast with your host, the expert Andy Murphy, where you will learn the tips, tricks, and strategies he teaches his world-class clients to give you the skills to dominate any business. What's going on, Mindset by Design crew, and welcome to episode 300. Yes, we did it. We're here. Pretty epic. Pretty epic. And I hope you're awesome and life is treating you beautiful. Do you know what? I am actually really excited that this is the 300th episode. It's been a long ride. (laughs) Do you know what I mean? And there's a lot of podcasts out there that have done thousand episodes in the same amount of time I've done 300. But the difference quality, right? Quality. This is nearly 300 hours of me talking. (laughs) That's a lot of talking. So if you've been listening since the start, then you're awesome. You're awesome. I appreciate you. I appreciate your support. And if you've been through any of my program systems, coaching with me, then I appreciate you too. I And I know it's helped you. And it's also helped me massively. I mean, the amount of guests we've had in over here since the first episode is unbelievable. And just I've learned so much from these people and I've learned so much from actually, yeah, speaking to you and helping you. It's been amazing over the years also to get incredible gifts off people, like from books and paintings. And it just goes on. And it's, it's amazing that, A podcast can help people. It's amazing that a podcast can change people's lives. But apparently it has. And that that makes me so, so happy. As that was always the intention. To bring together a community of entrepreneurs, big thinkers, people who are just getting lives together and driving it forwards. And you realize that the outside world is literally, literally a reflection of what is programmed in your brain, what is programmed in your unconscious mind. Now, this is the secret sauce, (laughs) plain and simple. And it's just like an athlete training for um, a game day or whatever it is, right? They have visualized that program or them winning in every other circumstance a thousand times. Why? (laughs) <laughs> you get it. We are training the nervous system and brain to think, feel, and act a certain way. That's it. So imagine if you did that with the next million dollar deal or your vision for your business and your life or that next deal you're closing or the IPO you're about to do or whatever it is, right? When you start to understand that everything comes from your brain, it comes from you, then it's beautiful. It's very freeing. It's very free. And you all know my stories, I'm sure. You know, my background, again, from Liverpool in the UK, left when I was 24, found neurolinguistic programming in sales, became the top performer in two different countries in investment real estate, and was putting together my own company to build a $100 million resort in Fiji. Business partners stole all my money. Um, Thought it was awesome to send me into a nervous breakdown, bankruptcy. And that's where, um, was it 14 years ago now, I rebuilt in America and all over the world. And I presented all over the world. I've worked with some of the best people in the world, from royalty to Fortune 500, and CEOs to the best online in digital marketing, world champion athletes, even trauma victims, abuse victims. I've, over the years... I just help thousands and thousands and thousands of people. And we're coming up to uh, close, getting closer to 2 million downloads on the podcast, which that's exciting too. And what's more exciting though is to get to know you. It really, really is. And whether you're in my Facebook group, Andy Murphy Mindset, or you are connected with me somehow, I'd love to speak to you. I'd love to get to know where you are in your life and... Um, Yeah, see if there's a way that we can accelerate it. Sound good? Awesome, 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 awesome. Um, Do you know what? Let me talk about today's show, and then we'll give you some links. How's that sound? Good? Good. Because I was working on what to do for the 300th episode. And you know what? I was going to bring on a guest. I was going to go review. I was going to do a rant. But then I was looking through some of the biggest issues that people have, and... um, procrastination seems to be one of them, right? So if that's you right now and you're hesitating about what you're doing, 
this is the episode for you. I recorded it a while ago, but my, my belief and perspective on it is exactly the same. I don't believe in procrastination. I believe in misalignment. Yo, Andy, what does that mean? Exactly, that's the show. So you're, you're going to enjoy it. It's going to really give you a different perspective so you can take action and do something different. Because the truth is, if you do something different today, it means that your life is going to change, right? We're all about hitting that to that next level. But as we about to hit that next level and we're pushing past our old boundaries, our old boxes, what happens is, is our brain doesn't quite know what to do. An alarm system goes off, it gets worried, and this can cause self-sabotage. This can cause overwhelm, this can cause stress, anxiety, and ultimately, procrastination, which I don't believe in, and I'm going to show you why. Sound good? Awesome, awesome. And speaking of sounding good, it's time for you to step up. It's time for you to hit that next level, and um, I don't know what to tell you, because this is what we do. Done it for 19 years all over the world with the best in the world, and I just want to show you the same tactics, the same strategies, because ultimately your mind is your business. Your business is your mind, and without them both being tuned up, guess what? You're not going to get what you want. And I know what you want. You want that freedom. You want that success. You want to be able to create impact in the world. But if you keep doing what you've done, are you really going to get there? Right. So what would happen if you could talk to someone who's worked with some of the best people in the world, help people go to IPO, help the most amazing people become even better, and even someone who just doesn't know what to do next, get in clarity. If that's you, then come and have a chat with us. We've got different programs. There's nothing to sell at the start. We just want to chat. So I'm going to put some cool links in there. Head over to them. Um, yeah, and just have a chat with us. But make sure that you're in the um, Facebook group. Make sure that you have downloaded your Fire Mind Morning to tune up that unconscious mind. What else? Make sure that you're on LinkedIn with me. Make sure that you just connect with me and ask some questions. And I will, um, I will do my best to help you. The best in the world always bring in experts to help them advance. It's called folding time. So if you want to fold time, then hit those links, chat with me, and um, yeah, I know I'll speak to you very soon. But let's jump into today's episode. I know you're going to love it. I'm looking forward to your feedback, and um, yeah, I'll see you at the end of the show. This is going to be fun today, keeping it nice and light, keeping it cool, but it's, do you know what, it's, it's a topic that, procrastination, as you can see, right, procrastination, um, it's an interesting topic, right, um, like most things in the personal development industry, I, I, you know, I disagree with, I think most things suck, I think they're outdated, people regurgitate the same crap again and again and again, but they truly don't have any wisdom around it, you know, and my whole mission in life, um, especially 2018, is, is really making sure that people stay safe, yes, you stay safe, you're not getting ripped off with BS positive psychology or you're not getting ripped off with BS um, bots or this or that, it, it's about growing business, right, so we have to grow this, so um, I just wait for another minute and then we'll jump on, but going on a little rant as you can see already, so yeah, it's all about this for sure, but then we've got to look at strategies and systems, but those strategies and systems that you get, everyone's getting sold, well, they get outdated very quickly, especially online, right? The other thing is, if you could have <laughs> so many of my clients, right, from all over the world, working through people's courses and systems, but what they've discovered, unless this is switched on, unless you know how to drive, stay laser-focused, have clarity, be disciplined, 
right? What's going to happen? It's, um, yeah, you're, you're going to beat yourself up. You're not going to be, get the, the results that you want. And that leaves people procrastinating. Ta-da! That's why we're doing this today, right? So procrastination, it's a lie. It's a lie. It is. Whether it's your brain tricking you, we're going to get into it. I'm going to give you some, some cool little, um, little understanding of this. But this is my definitive, definitive um, explanation of this. Procrastination, there's no such thing as procrastination. It's misalignment. Absolute misalignment. And I'm going to go into explaining the science behind this, my theories on this. Not theories, it's really just working with thousands of people and working this crap out, right? And I'm my biggest experiment in life. I, I, I push myself to the limit because I want to make sure that I can help you. Plain and simple. So, do you like that wall, by the way? It's pretty epic, right? That's from like the 1600s. <laughs> Think about that. That's cool. Reminds me of um, the UK. I like that. I like that. So, what do, where should we start? Where should we start? Um, give me some thumbs up, give me everything else if you can hear me, and all the rest of it. I've got headphones in because there was a lot of um, Latin people outside doing some shouting before. So, I, I, <laughs> yeah, so I put headphones in for us. But, okay, let me, let me jump in. So we got procrastination, it's a complete lie. And I'm going to show you today, by the end of this, in the next 20 minutes, how you're going to be able to change your perspective, get over this, and actually take action today, okay? That's what we want. So, first of all, I'm going to run through a very, very simple basic that some of you will know, some of you will understand. And hey, Willie. Hey, Janine. Hey, Kim. So, um, hey, Andrew. Hey, Stephanie. So, let me explain it like this. We've got a conscious and unconscious mind, Okay. What generally therapists, psychologists, and normal coaches work with is just the conscious bit of your mind. That's it. It, 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 it is, right? It's, for them, it's talk therapy. So let's sit down and let's talk about your issue or let's talk about what you want. Well, that's awesome. It's important. But it's only one half of the equation. Okay, the conscious mind is like the bit in the mind that me and you are talking in right now. If we want to go into neuroscience, it's the prefrontal cortex, right? That's where we're making constant decisions. And we have enlarged, we can develop, and we can get better at it. And depending on what's happened in your life, you can also have a damaged <laughs> prefrontal cortex or underdeveloped prefrontal cortex. So that's your conscious mind, right? Let's just talk in normal language. The bit of the mind that me and you are talking in right now, okay? Then we've got our unconscious mind. That's the, that's the beauty, right? That's how I'm able to make rapid change in anyone in the world because there is so, NLP is about understanding how to navigate around your memories, your thoughts, your feelings, how to change things, perspectives, how to readjust these neural nets so they fire and wire a different way, producing chemicals, blah, blah, blah. Am I going on a rant? A little bit, right? But what I'm trying to say is conscious and unconscious, okay? The unconscious is the software that's running in the background of your head that makes you think, feel, and act automatically. It's also your breathing rates, right? It affects your heart rate, your adrenal glands. It affects your belief systems, your attitude, your focus, and even the chemicals that are being produced, okay? So when we start understanding really what the unconscious mind does and the prefrontal cortex and the chemicals it produces, then let's take it a stage further. I'll tell you a little story. When I've worked with, it doesn't matter what level of client, this could be a, a world champion athlete, right? World champion fighter or world champion whatever, world champion. Generally, okay, if they're young, what happens is if they're young and they've kicked ass, the challenge is they've learned this program from such an early age, okay? So it's all that's been installed in their head, what's been around them. They, they've just, they've had a natural ability and their unconscious mind, because they've started so young, has built these neural nets to form a specific pattern, okay? That means they can utilize the skills that they've got real, real easy, right? So that's someone who's just become... Um, it could even be, we're talking about business too. Some people just get online marketing, right? They just understand sales. So what happens is, is 
someone will come to me who's been a rock star and they'll get, well, they'll start losing, right? They'll lose to losing and losing and they can't work it out. And so they'll come to me and I fix them. Why? This one simple thing. It's because their unconscious mind, the software, is programmed the correct way, okay? It's, it's heading towards what they want. But what happens is, this is the conscious mind, what happens is when they get triggered by something or something goes wrong, this goes out of alignment and the challenge becomes is they don't know how to, to, to consciously navigate themselves back in through tools and systems to be able to get in alignment, right? Like they were before. So other people come to me and their unconscious mind, okay, they know what they want, they're on fire, they get it, they get it, but the unconscious software's out of alignment, so I've got to adjust it so it clicks, okay? Does that make sense, first of all? Very important. So the first thing you've got to understand is that procrastination comes from misalignment of your conscious and unconscious mind, okay? But that's just something extra I was thrown at you, because... What I want to explain to you is what's going to change your motivation, your drive, everything today, okay? Um, because after we've got conscious and unconscious mind, then it is about business strategy. Then it is about you building, your, building yourself, right? So let me explain it like this. This is going to sort your procrastination out, right? And you might have to reevaluate everything in your life. You might have to reevaluate your business, where you're going, or what you're doing, right? And you really might have to. So I'm just warning you, okay? But look at it this way. As a kid, as a kid, right, did you get obsessed with stuff? Right? Did you have crazy OCD with things? Whether it was Lego, whether it was computer games. For me, surprise, surprise, it was martial arts, Right? That's what I've done since I was nine years old. So guess what I was doing all day? Obsessed probably wasn't even the word. But I was watching Bruce Lee all day. I was watching Cratty Kid, Van Damme. <laughs> all day, and I mean all day, I was watching cool old school um, kung fu films, right? Where people were flying and doing crazy backflips and shit, right? All that. And then... Guess what? I had thousands and thousands and thousands of hours. I was obsessed with it. And then what I'd do is just practice and practice and practice and practice and practice. Okay? We've all been like that with something, right? And maybe you're like that now with your business. I don't know, right? But why am I telling you this? Because <laughs> do I need, as a kid, right? Do I need at all in the slightest any motivation to go and practice martial arts? No, not at all, right? I didn't need any motivation at all to go and learn, to study, to believe, to practice, to go and put myself around it. I didn't need a single thing, right? I didn't need one tiny bit of motivation. So. But if you'd have taken me as a kid and then put me into basketball, it's like, I don't want to play basketball. I don't want to play basketball. I don't want to throw the basketball. I don't want to study that. I don't want to look at angles. I don't want to watch footage. I, I, I don't want to read books. I don't want to go to basketball camp. Right? Zero interest. Do you get it? Are you starting to understand this? Right. It's misalignment, right? We're going to build on this, but you're starting to understand. No one needs to motivate you if you're into doing what you're doing, <laughs> right? So if you do... Here's another little concept. We only have so much time, effort, and energy, right? And I could talk about consumer investor, which is a whole... Um, system that I've developed and, and understanding. I'll talk about that another time. I've got about 800,000 systems, right? But you have to be careful what you say yes to because you're saying no to something else. I'll say it again. 
you have to be careful what you're saying yes to because you're saying no to something else. So I just want you to ask yourself a question. What in your life right now, if you're struggling with business, if you're struggling closing deals, if you're struggling learning the, the topics that you need, if you're struggling um, just yeah, learning internet marketing, if you're struggling okay, with coming up with a business concept or changing the angle or even changing your state or traveling and doing whatever, ever it takes, do you get it? Do you get it? Right. We don't need motivation if the thing that we're wanting to do is in alignment with who we are, right? Our purpose. I've dealt with people, as I say, we're running hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollar business. And even inside those businesses as the CEOs and founders, you've got to understand there's things that they just they don't want to do, okay? So this is when we systemize, we delegate and all of those things and we create that change so the CEO can actually step up and be congruent with what he knows his strengths are and then that's what we build and then the organization changes and that's what creates a ripple. But just explaining it like this, be careful what you're saying yes to because you're saying no to something else, okay? So... What in your life right now, what project are you procrastinating on, okay? What are you holding yourself back on, right? What are you not getting done? <laughs> we need to do some truth things going on, right? So what is it? I don't know. Maybe you want to answer in the questions here? I don't know. But whatever you're struggling about, what is it? Because look at it this way, right? If I started a charity, and I'm going to, and I've, I've attempted to do a couple of times in the past, but traveling around the world a little bit, it doesn't, it doesn't you know, I've got to be in, in the right place. So, but if I started a charity, and this charity was to help kids who were orphans, right? And if they're orphans and they're, they're, they don't have anybody, I might, to be honest. But if I was to, that was what I was just obsessed about, right? If I was just obsessed about it, I was just in it. Ah, man, do you, do I need any motivation? No, I'm just in. Do I give a fuck about money at that point? No, I'm just in. So I want you to start looking at your business from a third party. We can go up with different perspectives, but let's start from a third party perspective and step out of your business right now and look in. If you were working with me right now, what would I say? Right? Think about it. What would I say? What's the truth? What's the truth to why you aren't moving forwards? Is it because you feel like you're doing this for somebody else? Is it you feel obligated? Is it you don't want to let someone down? Is it, well, I've got to do all this social media stuff because, right? Or I've got to do this because. I've got to go to that job because. I don't know. But we go back to, we go back to, what about it when you were trying to do the thing and you were faced with fears? Ah, that's a different question. That's a different question. Because what happens is, it's a beautiful question, by the way, David. So as you're aligning with yourself and it's what you want to do, understand, is I look at life like it's like a game, right? There's a start, there's an end, and there's levels, okay? So what we have to do is start leveling up ourselves. So what you understand is you're moving towards something, your heart, brain, is pulling you towards it, you know it's in alignment, right? But there's weights from the past, fears, traumas, old beliefs, all of these things that are holding you back. So every time you go, it's pulling you back, right? We need to cut those things. So that's stage two, buddy. It's a beautiful question. We can do topics around that and you can talk to me privately. But what we're talking about is that initial drive, right? The, not more than that initial drive that consistent drive that's going to create results, right? 
because we can dopamine spike you, we can do all these things to create that initial initial push. But what's happening with you, David, the amygdala switched on, right? So you're getting the wrong hormone releases, the neurochemical cocktail production is, is incorrect. So all of these things are connected to a very specific neural net that is holding you back, right? So different topic, right? So when we start to understand this, it changes the game. Because once we've reevaluated things, and this is what you're asking, Dave, once we've reevaluated things, is that the truth to what we want to do? Then beautiful. We're going to move forwards. We're going to start doing stuff. That's just a fact. Then as we're going through the levels of your own personal evolution and growth towards the business, then what happens is, is you'll find that you'll get triggers, right? So these are the things that we have to clear neurologically as we're building you up. The thing is, this is my absolute understanding, belief, and wisdom from seeing thousands and thousands of people. Your business matches where you're at. And I don't mean where you're at, sitting in Panama, hanging out here. I don't mean that. I mean, your business matches where you are at in your own personal growth. Does that make sense? We get what we're ready to receive, okay? So what does that mean? We can start talking about your filter system in your brain, right? But let's, let's keep it simple. Your belief system, like, I love the question, David. That's why I'm going to go rap for this for a second. But your filter system in your brain is literally, neuro, this is straight neuroscience. It's filtering out reality. So what happens is, is if your belief is connected to a pattern and that pattern has fear and that fear or maybe the focus, the focus is connected to the past, it's connected to something that went wrong, someone let you down, someone ripped you off, then understand your business is going to match that, right? But for example, I've worked with clients who, who are earning fantastic money, like 100 grand a month, right? You're doing doing well, right? Most people just dream. But when we were able to um, change these neural nets, dial it in, switch all what I do together, then what happens? He actually earned $10 million that year. What was changed? Did his skills change? No. We leveled him up neurologically. So when we do that, everything changed and your focus changes, your belief changes, your attitude towards what you're about to do changes, okay? The, the chemicals like the serotonin and dopamine production um, change, right? You're conscious. We're dealing with the prefrontal cortex, which means that you're, you're able to navigate through, this, through, through life and these situations and start interrupting patterns, start recorrecting, start using anchoring, start using all of these things that I develop and teach. Very specific things to fire mirror neurons, very specific things to... Yeah, just to develop you the correct way. Because what I know for, for sure, for a fact, your business matches where you're at in here. Okay? So, does this make sense, first of all? I just Give me some feedback, because I'm going to run off in a second. I can do follow-ups on these, and I've got questions. But you got me here right now. So, when you start to understand even the, the, these... Let's talk about self-talk, right? Self-talk inside your head. It's one of the, the biggest tools that you can start to master, being able to consciously, right there in the moment, be able to um, talk or navigate yourself through situations. So when I'm working with the top Forex trader, right? And so the pressure might be intense and they have to perform with minute details every single moment, right? So what happens is, is they have to be able to get so used to their inner world and designing their inner world, but more importantly, that's another stage, but more importantly, start being able to recognize that conversation that's going on in their head. Because if that's coming from, say, your brainstem, um, it's going to have a fear response. 
If it's coming from a, a different perspective or a different neural net of, of, that we've built from the past, which means you're successful, you're, you're confident, your breathing rates, your heart rates, your adrenal gland performance, even your eye patterns. Sounds a bit complicated, right? I get it, I get it, right? But this is my nerdy side coming out, right? All you need to know is, look, we sort your brain out so you can be laser focused, have fun and make instant laser focused decisions which are really in alignment with you not coming from fear, okay? So, what else have I got here? So yeah, the conversation, (laughs) let's go with that, right? The conversation that's going on in your head can really navigate in that moment to whether you're, you're, yeah, the response or the results that you're gonna get. Everything that I do is really about a few different things, but it's about one thing especially. (laughs) Kim, what if dyslexia is involved? I've got dyslexia quite bad sometimes, and over the years I've really, really sorted this out, but dyslexia is a whole different conversation, Kim, but it's beautiful and we'll talk about it. But what I want you to understand is that the language in your head is affecting your emotions, it's affecting the chemicals, it's affecting your performance, it's affecting everything, okay? So what's number one? We need conscious and conscious alignment, right? Beautiful. You need to get control of your conscious mind, you need to discover how to retrain your own conscious mind, okay? Two, what have we done? We understand that as OCD, OCD is beautiful. I love it. I'm the biggest fan ever about OCD. But it needs to be directed in the right way, otherwise it destroys us, okay? So we need to make sure what? Like, the, like me and martial arts when I was a kid, compared to basketball, right? Don't need motivation, don't need drive, right? You're just doing it. So you need to check what's going on in your business, okay? OCD is real, damn right it's real. I haven't met Olga, someone who's successful in anything that isn't absolutely massively OCD. It's a superpower. And I think I'm gonna bring out some products, well I am bringing out a lot of little products, because the eight figure thinker that I've developed is like the most comprehensive mindset performance system, that a training system that exists on earth, bar none, fact. I just know it is. But guess what? It is like an encyclopedia. And so I've got to, there you go, Kim, right on, you know. So what I am gonna do, gonna do is maybe possibly break that down into sections. But thank you, Kim, best ever, I like that. But break it down into sections, but I'm also gonna put out smaller products that people can jump into and get like real, real rapid results today. So um, where am I going with that? I don't know where I'm going. Okay, yeah, obsessive nature. See, that's what happens, ADD, OCD. So obsessive nature, make sure what you're doing, you're you're really into. Um, Thank you, Vanessa, Eight Figure Thinker is amazing, beautiful. So yeah, make sure that what you're doing next, you're obsessed with, and make sure that you're controlling your internal dialogue because that's gonna navigate you through what what, um, was said before by David which was making sure that it's not fear-based, fear-based and, and letting go and changing neural nets come second. But that's it for today, right? So crew, there we go. The end of episode 300, 300. We did it. We made it. We got here. Nice work. And speaking of nice work, make sure that you are heading over to those links because we've got some special ones right now. And you're going to want to be involved. That's time. It's time to make this year your best year ever, right? Your best year ever. So imagine having a community of hustling entrepreneurs from all over the world. Imagine having direct access to a world-class mentor. And imagine having one of the best digital trainings on mental performance in the world. At your fingertips, would that be good? Good, well, come and check out what the Fire My Formula is. If you're a business owner, then I know this is gonna be affordable and it's going to be for you. And it's gonna take your game to a whole new level. But besides that, we've got some other cool stuff, all different levels. And I know there's a right fit for you. So come and hang out with us. Come and join us. Make sure that you're heading to those show notes. Get those links. Click on them now. And yeah, just come and have a chat. There's nothing to sell. We're just here to connect and see then how we can help you. Sound good? 
beautiful. Until I speak to you again, have an amazing week. Much, much love. And then, um, oh yeah, 300 times I've said this now. Pretty epic. Why don't you smile for me? Thanks so much for listening to today's episode of the Mindset by Design podcast with your host and NLP expert, Andy Murphy. We'll catch you next time.